Blood transfusions are one of the most overused procedures in hospitals in the United States. This leads not only to unnecessary complications to the patients, but also with associated costs up to $216 million due to blood waste. Hospitals have adopted systems to optimize this problem by developing units called patient blood management. These often work with static and impersonalized analytic tools. To tackle this problem, a group of different specialists from the University of Utah Hospital developed Sanguine, an open source interactive visual analytical tool that analyzes blood product usage in a patient information context with the primary goal of identifying problematic transfusion practices. Sanguine was built based on four different domain goals as presented. Sanguine's most important functionality is that it allows the visualization of transfusion data. At the same time, it allows comparisons between different surgeons, anesthesiologists, ears and outcomes. It was designed taking in consideration the patient blood management specialists who use it for blood data analysis and the clinicians who consume the visualizations as reports that contain feedback on their practices. During the design phase, it has been considered the implementation of real data to assist transfusions during operations. However, the US FDA regulatory strict rules did not allow it to move on. Clinicians are busy with time constraints. Therefore, the visualizations need to provide fast information. Based on that, Sanguine has been developed with three main components, filtering and selection view, main workspace where visualizations can be flexibly arranged, and patient-specific detail view. In the final Sanguine dashboard, the stakeholders can interactively manage it, follow the validation rule of thumb, ice bits memory, and overview data with multiple views that can be filtered and rearranged is an example of a good visualization design. For each surgeon ID, the data is split in the case that needed or not ventilation after the surgery, green and blue respectively. On the left of the surgeon ID, we have the depth rate and the violin plot with the hemoglobin count before surgery. Finally, the heat map shows the quantity of blood bags. In this graph, we only have horizontal and color channels, and the marks are points and lines. In the class, we learned that color saturation is one of the least effective channels.